KSC, Presence. If you spot a plastic bottle wedged on your car tire, you may be about to become a victim of crime. From steering wheel locks to alarms, there are several ways that a vehicle owner can protect their unguarded car. However, drivers can still potentially find themselves at risk while out on the road. One of the most concerning stories of late involves a plastic bottle getting wedged between a car tire and the wheel well. Throughout the years, drivers across the world have had to contend with a number of different tricks deployed by carjackers. While the scams vary in their presentation, the goal of the thieves remains the same. On that note, vehicle owners should always be on the lookout for any suspicious signs on their cars. With that being said, drivers can also rely on the internet to provide warnings about certain scams. Indeed, fact-checking website Snopes has shared plenty of information regarding potential threats to car owners down the years. On one such occasion, the site published an email detailing an apparent trick. Imagine that you walk across the parking lot, unlock your car and get inside, read the message presented on the site. Then you lock all your doors, start the engine and shift into reverse. You look into the rear view window to back out of your parking space and you notice a piece of paper, some sort of advertisement stuck to your rear window. At that point, the email revealed that the advertisement actually had another purpose. So, you shift into park, unlock your doors and jump out of your vehicle to remove that paper, or whatever it is, that is obstructing your view, it continued. When you reach the back of your car, that is when the carjackers jump out of nowhere, jump into your car and take off. Your engine was running, your purse is in the car and they practically mow you down as they speed off in your car, the message added. Be aware of this new scheme. Just drive away and remove the paper that is stuck to your window later. Meanwhile, there was another reported scam bearing some striking similarities to that one. Indeed, Snopes shared a message from a concerned mother in West York, Pennsylvania, talking about a suspicious item on her child's vehicle. Please beware that my daughter was coming out of the West York Walmart tonight and as she was walking to her car she noticed that a couple of guys were watching her, the parent wrote. My daughter got into her car and locked her doors, the mother continued. As she was leaving, she saw what appeared to be a $100 bill on her windshield. She was smart enough not to get out of her car at the time because she remembered an email that I sent her not that long ago. With that in mind, the mom revealed the contents of that email, which mirrored the message concerning advertisements being left on vehicles. It was about people putting something on the windshield and when the person gets out to retrieve it, they are carjacked, she added. From there, the parent then included a photo of the folded bill. While those rumors proved somewhat concerning, Snopes shared a social media post from February 2017 that detailed another potential threat. One Ashley Hardacre posted a lengthy message on Facebook after she found a shirt wrapped around her car windshield wipers. In her mind, it was a rather nefarious sign. I worked a closing shift tonight, so me and the girls I work with always walk out together to make sure we are safe in the parking lot, Hardacre wrote on Facebook. I got to my car and locked the doors behind me immediately as I always do. I then noticed that there was a blue flannel shirt on my windshield. There were two cars near me and one was running, so I immediately felt uneasy and knew I couldn't get out to get it off, Hardacre continued. At first I thought maybe someone had just thrown it on my car for some odd reason. I used my windshield wipers to try to get them off but the shirt was completely wrapped around my wiper blade. From there, Hardacre explained why the placement of the shirt had her so worried, referencing stories that she'd previously read. I had seen posts lately about people finding things under their windshield wipers in the Burton Flint area as an attempt to get girls out of their cars and distracted, the user wrote. Hardacre decided to head off to a discreet location away from the suspicious cars, with the shirt still stuck on her windshield. After arriving at her destination, she then removed the item. At that point, the social media user questioned why her vehicle had apparently been targeted in the parking lot. I don't know why the shirt was on my car, 
Hardacre added. But it had to have been intentional, because of the way it was put on there. I really can't think of another reason as to why someone would put it on my car. Tomorrow I am informing security of the situation and making them walk me to my car from now on. The stories that Hardacre had been reading might well have suggested that the shirt on her vehicle was a sign of a potential carjacking. However, it seems that this wasn't actually the intention in Hardacre's specific case. Indeed, investigating authorities later discovered that she had actually been the victim of a prank by two men. So the shirt on Hardacre's vehicle was not a ruse to serve a carjacking, however, there are a variety of other ploys that a potential thief might seek to exploit. Not long ago, for instance, a different scam which utilized another technique was brought to the attention of motorists across the world. This reported trick originated from a YouTube video posted in June 2017. Translated from Spanish, the clip, which came from Mexico, is titled, New Way to Steal Cars with a Bottle. In the clip, it was suggested that a driver could get carjacked if a plastic bottle was lodged between one of the tires and its wheel well. This placement would, one might expect, be more difficult to notice than a shirt wrapped around windshield wipers. With that in mind, the distraction would, in this case, come from the sound of the plastic being squashed by the vehicle's tire. At that point, the video intimates that the driver would leave their car to check out the strange noise, with the keys still in the ignition. From there, the carjacker would jump into action and steal the automobile. The video drew a big response on YouTube, earning over 6.5 million views and more than 12,000 likes. In addition to that, it also generated close to 850 comments from online users, most of whom were incredibly thankful for the demonstration. However, the post might have had some unintended consequences. In February 2018 authorities in Poloquane, South Africa, were made aware of rumors that carjackers in the area had adopted the plastic bottle trick. This concern apparently stemmed from social media sources. So in response, Johan Redders of the Community Policing Forum attempted to calm these fears with a statement. This might be a method used in the bigger cities but to my knowledge there has not been one such case reported in Polo Quain yet, Redders stated in February 2018, as reported by South African news website Bosfield Review Online. Prevention is, however, better than a cure and residents are urged to remain vigilant at all times. Earlier that same February, the apparent threat of the plastic bottle trick prompted a South African security firm to release a statement on Facebook. Indeed, CB Security Northwest urged vehicle owners to be mindful of the technique. Alongside that post, the company also included a picture highlighting the scam. Police warn that if you find a plastic bottle near your car, you may be in danger, read CB Security Northwest's statement on Facebook. Just when we thought thieves used the highest technology to commit their flights and scams, they come, up with this. The tip of a plastic bottle. From there, the South African security firm outlined the technique, mirroring the visual explanation in the Mexican YouTube video. After revealing how the scam worked, the statement then relayed some advice to concerned citizens. The police ask all users to share this information and thus avoid other thefts with this simple trick, the post concluded. For vehicle owners living in South Africa, this was yet another thing to be wary of while out on the road. The country's police service already had a detailed list of do's and don'ts relating to carjackings on their official website. One of those points, advising drivers to watch their keys, subsequently stood out when the plastic bottle trick came to light. Meanwhile, the United States Department of State had some guidelines of their own regarding road safety overseas. Carjacking has become one of the most prevalent crimes in many parts of the world, read a statement on the department's website. Most carjackings occur for the sole purpose of taking the car. With that in mind, the State Department then gave out some advice on what to avoid in those instances. You can protect yourself by becoming familiar with the methods, ruses and locations commonly used by carjackers, the statement continued.
The first step to avoiding an attack is to stay alert at all times and be aware of your environment. At that point, the government agency revealed a list of common attack plans relating to carjackers, starting with something known as the bump. In this case, the thief bumps into the driver's car, which results in the latter leaving their vehicle to check things over. From there, the automobile is stolen. The State Department went on to name some other attack plans, such as the Good Samaritan, and the Ruse. In each scenario, the driver gets distracted by something, causing them to drop their guard. The plastic bottle trick detailed on South African social media posts is an example of that. However, as the technique continued to grow in notoriety, two men in 2018 attempted to see if the trick actually worked. Indeed, Tim and Dan from Lakeland Broadcasting fronted a video on YouTube in August 2018 where they put the plastic bottle to the test. Standing next to a parked car in the clip, the pair explain their plan. Tim and Dan here, testing the theory that a water bottle stuck in the wheel of a car will cause a distraction, Tim says. Then the driver gets out, to check the noise, somebody is hiding and they get into the car. Then they steal the car. We're going to test it out right now. Tim then takes an empty water bottle and prepares to enact the trick, with Dan playing the role of the carjacker. Holding on to the camera, the former talks through his plan. We're going to stick this bottle in the wheel well here, right there, he says, lodging it against one of the car's front tires. That's probably not something the driver would see, Tim continues. From there a woman then approaches the vehicle, with Dan hiding behind the trunk in a humorous disguise. She opens the door and sits in the driver's seat, while the camera remains focused on the bottle in the wheel well. A few moments later, the woman starts the ignition and slowly pulls away from the parking space. The bottle subsequently crackles between the tire and the wheel well, albeit not that loudly, before falling out. At that point, Tim asks the driver if the sound served as any kind of distraction. Did you hear that noise well enough that it would have made you get out and check your car? Tim questions. I couldn't hear anything from inside the car, the woman responds. Not a thing. With that in mind, he looks to try again to see if the results will differ. Let me just put the bottle way down in here. Tim says as he lodges the item into the wheel well for a second time. I'm gonna really wedge it into that tire there. It's wedged as far as it can go now. With everything in place, the car slowly moves forward, causing the bottle to crunch once again. In this instance, though, there was a key difference. As Tim moves the camera up to the driver, the passenger side window was open. With the window down, I can hear it. The woman says, with the window up, no. However, while she had noticed the noise, it still didn't prove all that distracting. After testing the trick out, Tim gives a rather blunt assessment of the results. We're going to call that, probably not terribly plausible, he says, bringing the video to an end. Meanwhile, Snopes has done a bit of digging as well. Curious to see if the plastic bottle technique has actually resulted in a driver getting carjacked. Somebody from Snopes subsequently spoke to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, asking if they had heard anything regarding the trick. A representative said they were unaware of any reports of carjackings involving plastic bottles, the website reported. Indeed it's not entirely certain that the bottle trick can be considered a genuine threat, but it's undoubtedly worthy of consideration for the sake of staying safe. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.